Hey guys, welcome back to another video and it's been a long time since nakagawa ko ng video but ngayon meron na tayong bagong video na titled Role of a Front-End Developer. Kung career shifter ka or nag-aaral ka ng IT or kung bagong graduate ka pa lang at naghahanap ka ng anong path or anong role ang tatahakin mo sa industry na to, this video is for you. So I hope that this video or at the end of this video matutulungan ko kayo kung ano yung path na gusto mong tahakin. So, for now, in this video, we'll tackle ano nga ba ang role ng isang front-end developer. So, this is presented to you by dev.co. So, before we start about the role, let's first discuss ano nga ba ang tinatawag na front-end development. So, front-end development is the development of visual and interactive elements of a website that users interact to directly. So, kung ano man ang nakita mo sa isang website pag pinuntahan mo, for example, facebook.com, so lahat ng mga nakikita mo na pwedeng i-click, pwedeng mag-interact doon, like yung mga buttons, yung mga navigation items, yung mga comments, yung mga react icons, yung mga haha dyan. Yun, isa sa mga role yun ng isang front-end developer or part yun ng front-end development. So it's a combination of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So, yung HTML dito is uh, the one that provides the structure para sa website na yun. Uh, or it can be the CSS for the styling and for the layout and JavaScript for the interactivity or any action na gagawin mo dun, uh, JavaScript ang mahalang mag-respond sa mga actions na yun. Next on our slide, is tatalakay naman natin kung anong difference ng front-end, back-end, tsaka full-stack development. So, this is just an overview kung ano yung ginagawa ng bawat end. So, for example, for front-end development, you will mostly deal with UI and UX experience. So, it is called user interface, tsaka yung user experience. So, for user interface, yung mga nakikita mo sa isang website or sa website na ginagawa mo. So, it might be the design of the button, yung mga colors, yung mga positioning, yung layout. So, that is user interface. For UX naman, or user experience, yun naman yung uh, tinatawag na ano yung magiging experience ng user mo pag ginamit niya yung website mo. So, sometimes we have to deal with that. It's for example, yung how we can... Um, load the interaction or how we can display the loading screen, what will happen if the user clicks a button. So, part yon ng user experience and madami pa. Next is the design. Yun din yung sabi natin. The aesthetics, syempre, malaking factor din yan pag gumagawa ka ng isang application or ng isang web application. Next is the responsiveness. It, isa ito sa mga hindi dapat natin makaligtaan as front-end developer kasi, di ba, marami nang gumagamit ng mobile ngayon and lahat dapat accessible na siya through mobile. Kasi kung hindi accessible yung website mo through a mobile app or a mobile phone, medyo mahirapan ka umingganyo or kumikayat ng mga users. Next is the back-end development. So, ano naman yung dinideal sa back-end development? So, mostly, you will deal with the server side of the application. You will deal with the databases, the data processing, and API integration. So, uh, for the back-end, mostly logic yung uh, dinideal ng isang developer. Next up is full-stack development. So, full-stack is a mix of front-end and back-end development. So, dapat marunong ka rin mag-design, marunong ka or mostly uh, analytical ka or you have um, knowledge in building the databases, the structure for how the data will be processed or handled. Next is new client and server side. So, dapat marunong ka then kung paano i-handle or i-serve yung website mo sa client, which is yung user natin, and how we can handle the data na pinapasa ni client in the server side. Next is, pwede ka rin mag-oversee ng entire development kasi nga, mix ito ng front-end tsaka back-end development. So, yun ang difference or just an overview kung anong kaibahan ng tatlong ends in development which is front end back end and full stack next sa ating slide is tatalakay naman natin ano yung mga key responsibilities nating mga front end developers so kung nag-decide ka na gusto mong maging front end developer ito ang iilan sa mga responsibilidad mo as a front end developer so first is translation so yung translation dito is hindi siya from one language to another language this means na you must know how to translate a design into a code. So, kung meron kayong designers in yung team na gumagawa ng mga wireframes, ng mga design or layout para sa inyong web application, dapat marunong ka na convert yon into 
code. So, dapat uh, tugma din siya sa design na binigay ng iyong designer. So, yun yung meaning ng translation dito. The next point is the UX and performance. So, hindi lang dapat na aesthetically pleasing yung ating website. Dapat gumagana rin ito. So, hindi pwede na meron tayong button dyan tapos hindi pala siya gumagana or loading screen na nasa stock yung user mo. So, dapat marunong din tayo paano pagkainin yung ating performance tapos yung ating user experience. Next is the responsive and interactive design. Kasi nga, marami nang gumagamit ng mobile phones ngayon. So, kailangan din natin i-consider yung mga users na yon para mas maganda yung kanilang experience sa ating application at siguradong babalik at babalik sila kasi madaling i-access ito through mobile and other devices, hindi lang sa ating PC or sa ating desktop. Next is the SEO or the Search Engine Optimization and the Best Practices in Coding as well. So, kung hindi ka marunong talaga mag-code, dapat uh, you will have to or you will need to find a mentor na magtuturo sa'yo ano yung mga best practices sa pagko-code. So, usually, uh, dinidiscuss yan within the team or meron yung guidelines within the team. So, kailangan mo lang talagang magtanong. For the SEO naman, um, marami. It's a big topic which uh, for search engine optimization kasi madami ka dapat i-consider dito. Dapat uh, mabilis yung website mo. Dapat uh, discoverable ito. Tapos, uh, you will need to have um, a conversation with your team paano nyo ito magiging uh, or paano nyo ito ma-optimize. So, these are just some of the key responsibilities ng isang front-end developer. Moving on to the next slide, isatalakay naman natin ano yung mga technologies and tools na pwede mong gamitin as a front-end developer. So, kung gusto mo na talaga maging front-end developer, this is your time na i-jot down or i-take note yung mga nandito, yung mga tools na tatalakay natin or mga technologies na sasabihin ko kasi magiging ahead kayo when it comes to learning. So, for technologies, we can use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Vue, Angular, and many more. For tools, I can recommend you the code editors to use, the version control to use, the front-end assets, and debugging tools. So, let us proceed. So for the tech trio, hindi talaga mawawala yung HTML for structure, yung CSS for layout and design, and JavaScript for our website's interactivity. So kung ako sa'yo, simulan muna na mag-aral ng HTML muna, tapos sunod mo yung CSS, tapos yung JavaScript. Tsaka kung tapos ka na dito, you can proceed in finding the front-end library or framework that will work for you. So for a library naman sa front-end, you can use the React.js which is very popular sa industry so marami yung or malaki yung job market ng React.js so marami kang jobs na makita or job boards na makikita na React yung hinahanap as one of the technologies na kailangan or required doon sa position so next is Vue.js and Angular.js so kung ako sa'yo pumili ka ng kahit isa dito para maging secured yung future mo as a front-end developer next uh, after mo na mag uh, learn ng uh, framework or ng library, you can also choose to study a CSS preprocessor which is SAS or less. Or kung gusto mong maging um, advanced uh, front-end developer, pwede ka gumamit ng framework which is Tailwind CSS. Sorry, wala siya sa slide but you can try to search Tailwind CSS for its CSS framework. Next is the code editor. So for code editors, uh, for starters, you can try to use brackets or sublime text. But in the industry, kung gusto mo talagang magkatrabaho, for now, or sa ngayon pa lang, gamitin mo na yung VS Code. Bakit VS Code? Kasi napakaraming features nito. Uh, pwede kang mag-add ng mga extensions na mas mapapadali pa yung development mo. At saka sa industry talaga guys, uh, makadalasan na ginagamit yung VS Code for front-end development. Next up is the version control. So, bakit natin kailangan gumamit ng version control? Kasi in the industry, we will be working with other developers. So, merong teams or merong group of developers na gumagawa ng isang website. So, hindi lang ikaw uh, yung mag-isa na gagawa nun. So, minsan may kasama kang isa. So, para may iwasan yung conflict sa code nyo or may iwasan yung uh, magkakatanungan kayo kung sino nagbago nito, sino nag-delete nito. So, dito pumapasok yung version control para mas madali nyong malaman or madali nyong matrack kung sino yung nag-change ng isang file or uh, paano kayong mag-deploy so nakakatulong din yung version control. So for version control, you can use git and for the repository, you can use github. Next is for the debugging tool. So kung hindi mo pa to alam, you will try to search for 
Chrome Dev Tools or Chrome Developer Tools. Uh, pag uh, nasa web ka or nasa isang um, browser ka, for example, Chrome, so i-press mo lang yung F12 para ma-open yung development tool. So, dapat alam mo kung gumamit ng development tools para mas padali pa yung debugging mo pag may nakikita kang bug sa iyong web application. So, lalagay natin ng dedicated na video itong Chrome Developer Tools kasi uh, feeling ko malaking tulong to sa mga nagsisimula pa lang as a developer or front-end developer. Malaking tulong talaga to sa pag-debug or pag-fix ng mga sira-sira dyan sa inyong mga website. So, after nyo makita yung mga development tools at technologies na pinakita ko, may tip for you is mag-study kayo at gamitin nyo yun araw-araw para maging lamang kayo or ahead kayo with other developers in your industry. So, ay alam mo na paano mag-HTML, CSS, JavaScript, gumamit ng code editors, ng any front-end framework or libraries, you are good to go. So, kung gusto mo pa ng mga in-depth na video para sa mga HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, just comment it down sa ating comment section. And maraming salamat sa panonood sa ating bagong video and that is the role of a front-end developer. So, kung may tanong ka, just comment it down sa Facebook, sa TikTok, or dito sa YouTube video na to para ating masagutan. So, maraming salamat sa panonood. Dev.co is out. Peace!